Hey guys, today I'm going to show you edge permutation cases that involve using the M2 move. So the M2 is basically just the EO case where you do this, the two lines like that. So that. And there are a lot of EP cases that you can use this algorithm for. So here's the first one, and it's just a H perm on the U layer. Um, so what you do is just basically the same as um, a H perm on a 3x3. Three M2, U prime, M2, U2, M2, U prime, M2. So it's actually pretty fast. So it's basically the same thing uh, with the bottom layer. So if you have a H prime on the bottom, all you have to do is the same thing but with D moves. So M2, D, M2, D2, M2, D, M2. So the next one I'm going to show you is the Z perm. So if you have the say like the corresponding edges here and here, all you do is M2, U, M2, U prime, M2. And if it's like here, you just do the mirror of it, which is M2, U prime, M2, U, M2. Um, the same thing applies for the bottom layer. So um, wherever you want to move this one, you just do, you just move the little, the position to here. So basically, M2, D prime, M2, D, M2. Next, here's actually a very easy EP. It's just opposite, opposite. So these two have to switch and these have to switch. Um, in this case, what you can do is M2, U2, M2, and it just solves it. Next, we have this case, which is an O and an adjacent at the bottom. So uh, it's basically these two have to switch, and this is like like a cycle. So um, yeah, it's like an O. So in this case, the O is clockwise. So if it's clockwise, what you have to do is M2, U prime, M2, U prime, M2. And same thing if it's counterclockwise, you just go the other way. So M2, U, M2, U, M2. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.